now we are discussing the next type of tree which is called the avial tree now talking about the avial tree avial tree is the most popular balanced tree we know that there is a binary search tree in which a node is having the greater value than the left children and less value than the right children in that binary search tree we are having the skewed binary search tree where we have the problem like the search complexity is more and the solution is the avial tree where we balance the tree so avial is the extent extension of binary search tree where we are having the time complexity very less as compared to binary search tree in the worst case we are having the time complexity which is big o log n so avial tree was introduced in 1962 by Adelson, Wilski and Landis and if you talk about the searching then it takes less time for searching in worst case or we can say that the worst case time complexity of searching is big o log n if we compare the complexity of avial with the binary search tree in the binary search tree worst case complexity was big o n and here in the avl we are having big o log n so that means if we are even searching on the worst case avl take much less time as compared to the worst cases of binary search tree if we go with the definition of avl tree then avl tree is a binary search tree where difference between height of left subtree and right subtree of any of the node cannot be more than 1 so here the definition of avl says that it is a binary search tree that means first thing this avl is the extension of binary search tree means whatever the tree we are taking that should be the binary search tree but there is one more feature added that the left subtree and the right subtree their height will be maximum 1 means if you are taking the difference of left and the right subtree of any of the node then their difference can be maximum 1 so now i am going to generate the formula for that so we can say that the height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so now that should not be more than 1 but here it is not mentioned that it is left minus right or right minus left both ways it can be not more than 1 that means we are now applying mod here mod means if it can be right minus left that will come on the minus side so mod mod means we are taking the mod of that and that should be less than equal to 1 so here right minus left or left minus right both will be less than equal to 1 or if we generate the formula for that then we can write that h h is the height of tl that means left subtree minus height of again tr that means right subtree that mod should be less than equal to 1 so that is the formula of avl tree that all the height should be following this particular criteria and this is called the balancing factor of avl tree so now we are learning the balancing factor so this particular statement is called the balancing factor which is height of left subtree minus height of right subtree that should be less than equal to 1 or we can say that the balancing factor of avl tree can be either 0 1 or minus 1 so here the balancing factor of avl can be 0 1 or minus 1 this is taken from the height because we know that there is a mod applied if i remove the mod then in that case the height of left subtree which is tl minus height of right subtree which is tr then that can be equal to either 0 or 1 or minus 1 so if i just take out the height of left hand side then minus right hand side of the tree then if it is 0 1 or minus 1 then simply it is the avl tree so now we are going to find out that the tree which is given to us whether it is a avl or not now we are checking that whether this tree is a avl or not and for that we has to calculate the balancing factor of each node 
and if all the nodes are satisfying the property that 0 1 and minus 1 balancing factor property then this will become the avl so rule number one is that first of all we are going to give the zero balancing factor to all the leaf nodes we know that the leaf node is the node which is having no children so the balancing factor of the node number 25 is zero and balancing factor of 72 is zero so these nodes are having balancing factor as zero now we are starting from down to upside and finding the balancing factor now from bottom to top we are having the node which is 75 and we want to find out the balancing factor of node 75 we know that height of left minus height of right so here on the 75 on the left hand side we are having only one branch so that means on the left hand side there is one and talking about right hand side there is nothing so that means on the right hand side it is zero now we are calculating the difference between left and right height so 1 minus 0 and 1 minus 0 is nothing but 1 so here the balancing factor of 75 is nothing but 1 so this is one balancing factor here we are considering the different different levels height take the different different levels we are not considering the number of nodes here so we should understand this thing now we are going to find the balancing factor of the node afterward so only one node is remaining which is node number 60 to find out the balancing factor of node number 60 we should see that how many levels are there on the left hand side so on the left hand side we are having only one level here so that is only one level present now we are considering the levels on the right hand side so here we are having level 1 then level 2 so two levels are there so that means 2 now considering the difference between height of left minus height of right so 1 minus 2 and what is that it is nothing but minus 1 so balancing factor of the top node is minus 1 now we are removing the calculation part from here so now we are having the tree with the balancing factor now we have to check out whether all the nodes are following the property of balancing factor of not and we know that all the nodes balancing factor can be 0 1 or minus 1 so first of all checking from the down they both are having the 0 balancing factor so no problem then afterward we are going on the above it is having the 1 balancing factor no problem minus 1 again no problem so all the nodes are having balancing factor which is falling under the criteria so this tree is the avl tree now i'm taking one more example to give you more clarity about the avl tree so this is another example of the avl tree or we have to find out whether this is the avl or not now in this tree again rule number one all the leaf nodes are having the balancing factor as zero so this is the leaf node leaf node means node with no children so here again this is the balancing factor as zero again zero so all the three nodes which are the leaf are having the balancing factor as zero now we are going from bottom to top side and we are having the node which is 80 we should observe that only this node 80 and its left and right subtree in the left subtree of 80 we are having only one level on the left hand side so we are assuming that this is one level on the right side of 80 we are having only one level so here it is one that means we are observing node number 80 so we have to only focus on left and the right subtree of 80 node now here on the left hand side only one level is present on the right hand side only one level is present so we know that balancing factor is the height of left minus right so obviously it will be 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 that will be equal to nothing which is 0 so balancing factor of node number 80 is nothing but 0 i am removing the calculation part now we are going again from the bottom towards the top and we find that there is one more node where the balancing factor is not there which is 70 so now is the time to find out the balancing factor of node number 70 
we should focus the left branch or the left subtree of node number 70 we know that on the left hand side we are having only one level present so on the left hand side only one level is present now going towards the right hand side again we has to find out how many levels are present so we are starting this is the level number one then afterward this is the level number two so how many levels on the right hand side two levels are present on the right hand side so now we know that height of left minus height of right that means 1 minus 2 and that will be equal to nothing but minus 1 so the balancing factor of node number 70 is minus 1 so this is how we can calculate the balancing factor now i'm removing the calculation part now we are checking that whether this tree is avl or not by finding the balancing factor so the balancing factor is already present and we know that balancing factor of all the nodes should be 0 1 or minus 1 so we are starting from the downside so it is 0 following the criteria again following the criteria again 0 no problem again 0 no problem minus 1 no problem so it should be 0 1 or minus 1 and the criteria is already following so this tree is also the avl tree so that is how we can find out the balancing factor by taking the height of left subtree minus taking the height of right subtree so this is all about the avl tree